to i nurture videos in this video we will discuss about the concept of network switching at the end of this video you will be able to define the concept of network switching define the term switches state the types of network switching at the time of accessing internet if the user wants to send or access the data across the internet the data travels through different connecting devices to the user this process of moving the data from one computer network to another is known as network switching the devices which help the network to switch are called as switches switches provide the temporary connection between two or more devices in the network generally network switching is categorized into four types here are the types of network switching circuit switching packet switching virtual circuit switching and message switching let's learn about each of the type of network switching circuit switching is the most frequently used type of the network switching it uses a dedicated circuit to connect the sender and the receiver directly on an uninterrupted pathway this pathway exists between the sender and receiver until the connection is terminated by any of them in computer networks the circuit switching between two communicating nodes eliminate the need for using headers which are frequent on the channel the figure shows the circuit switching mechanism in this a b c and d are the network users user a and c are communicating through a communication line the switching nodes establish a connection between a and b If B wants to set up a connection with C then B requests from the switching node the switching node replies with a busy message as a connection is already set up between A and C packet switching uses small packets of the data messages these packets are of uniform length and they include a header which has the fields for the source destination and intermediate node addresses packets are generally accepted by the receiving network in a first come first served manner the figure shows the routes taken by the packet 1 and packet 2 it states that individual packets take different routes to reach their destination the packets are queued while traveling through the network nodes which cause variable delay and throughput virtual circuit switching does not use the host to make a routing decision for each packet to save the time and processing cost to increase the packet's accuracy and to avoid packet duplication it makes the routing decision only once while establishing the virtual circuit message switching is referred as store and forward switching since each connecting device receives the message and stores it in the device buffer memory until the next device is ready to receive it message switching does not use a dedicated pathway for communication in this type each message is treated as an independent unit and it includes its own destination address The shortest route and the information about the nearby switches are programmed in the switch itself. It takes more time therefore message switching is not recommended for real time applications. In the figure of message switching messages can take any path such as from host A to switch 1 switch 1 to switch 3 switch 3 to switch 4 switch 4 to switch 2 and then up to the destination as host b let's have a quick recap on what we discussed 
the process of moving the data from one computer network to another is known as network switching. The device which helps the network to switch is called as switch. The types of network switching are circuit switching, packet switching, virtual circuit switching and message switching. Thank you for watching this video.